Hey, Petty fam. We're back with another video. We're doing Brooklyn Frost and Jay Cinco talk about breakup and cheating on Honest and Serious Note featuring Dub and uh, Deshay. Let's get into it. I want to apologize for leaving the, so early the last podcast. I'm just, you know how people these days, I'm bigger on energy. I just wasn't feeling her energy. I had to get the hell out. So um, we won't do this this podcast. Yeah, no, uh, we're the blackest uh, podcast on YouTube, honestly. Yes, sir. I feel like, oh, damn, I'm trying to, what that nigga, man didn't teach me. God damn. So I look kind of gay. I'm not going to yeah, cap. That was hella gay. Yeah. And well, first off, what we want to say you? is, um. You help me? Yeah, I got you. Uh, it's just that, right? Just that. Jerk it a little bit. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, just, look, it's that. Oh, so first thing we want to say is that we are on Spotify, finally. Click the link in the description to follow us on Spotify, and I know y'all want to hear these podcasts when you're on the road, taking that long road trip, doing some things that you're not supposed to be doing and want to keep your time occupied. But we got some special guests. I can't believe that the Shay even, you know, pulled this off, bro. I can't believe you did this. Hey, man, you know, I say uh, it was it was hard. You know what I'm saying? My uh, I want to say my family, I love them. But they're one of the hardest people to work with also sometimes. So sometimes with things and stuff like that. You know, you talk to them and I was surprised that they even wanted to come on here. You know what I'm saying? So, you want to say something? Uh, I fuck with dog, bro. I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. We look, we, you know, I got the top comment on his new song that he just dropped from his new mixtape. <laughs> uh, his The song that got the most views... <laughs> I got the most comments and likes on it. Uh, we got my dog. Well, you 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 can you can edit. We got. Come on, come on. Brooklyn and <laughs> Brooklyn and Key Flock. Yes, sir. <laughs> this nigga got two cups. I <laughs> know. Then you drinking lean and water. What? Baller? What is you doing? In your grapes, nigga. <laughs> Get a little closer. Make sure you guys get closer to the mic. You know what I'm saying? Make sure we can see it. Damn. Oh, my gosh. Messing up the production. This is our seventh podcast. Or eighth. Yeah, Wait till well, next season. Special. I know next season we're gonna have the table right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Everything gonna be right. So the table is getting built right now. The, yeah, getting built the right podcast right. tables have to be built. Sure. You know what I mean? Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing with them. Now they doing good. I'm very proud of y'all for this this podcast. Podcasts are hard, especially to get the guests for those and have interesting topics. So they're doing a really good job. I'm glad they came up with this. Hey. Oh yeah, this, this is your first interview. My bad. I got you. Now nah, I got you. For a podcast. Nah, we won't put you good. Now, Justin just got out the hood, Dub. So we're gonna, we want to be able know to. That. Oh, shit, this so, sound like a football game. Yeah, so we're gonna, be, do. we're just gonna um <laughs> make sure everything's right. My man Justin came on the board. How y'all feeling? How y'all? Y'all good? I am. You look, you were looking sad earlier today. I know. Now that he's here, seem a little bit more happier. Can you go through it? How you feeling? Um, Bro, this, this this morning I kind of you know. Before you start, this nigga did not have his chains on before he was right there. Yeah. Did that nigga put them chains on like that? Like instantly? Get this nigga chain. Get this nigga chain, bro. That nigga just... No, he when he was out there picking them grapes, I was looking at him. I had one chain Looking out. at him. Why are you looking at me? I wasn't. I was looking. I was like... And he looking at me smiling right now. Uh-huh. Why, why are you trying to hate? He had it typed in. I mean... <laughs> hey, come on, bro. I low-key think Dub got a crush on Dub. That's well, what I'm saying. On, I'm, that's what I be saying. Like when you get <laughs> that prank on. on you, I feel like he was trying to make me jealous of some weird shit. This nigga looked me in my eyes and Never? said that he released Never? his energy <laughs> to, to make what? that. Anyways, this is not what this is about. Um, so uh, how how are y'all, man? You know, I'm good. I'm doing better now. How are you? I mean, I'm good. That's good. That's good. We have seen um, Brooklyn. You know, he posted. The video, you guys posted the videos that you guys were broken up and stuff like that. So, kind of, you guys are just together right now. And how long has it been? Like, like a month. Two months. A month or two? Since when? We broke up. It's been two months? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That wasn't two months ago. What were y'all doing during the two months? Just building. Uh, Still driving together and stuff, right? Hell no. No. I didn't see her for two months. Nigga, I was just with you, bro. And this was like 
Like, I was just with you, Justin, at the club with the hoes. <laughs> yeah, remember we was playing Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. And I remember it was like, some big booty bitch. <laughs> Justin was like, I'm out here. I remember that. Hell no, you got I remember it wasn't two months ago. No, no I said we was, it was me. Uh, I'm going to be like, y'all I'll step, see you yesterday. It was me, y'all stepdaddy, your mom. Who's y'all stepdaddy? <laughs> And uh, we, they were all at my house. Yo, stepdaddy. <laughs> the nigga, all at my, and he was there. Nigga, I'm taller then? <laughs> it's, it's probably going to be two months in a couple of days, but it's been like a month or two. Yeah, we broke up before that video, though. What video? What video we talking about, nigga? Talk about Grant the Fool. What was you doing, nigga? What? Yeah, see? How you gonna tell them when they broke up? Like, <laughs> they know. They in agreement with about when they broke up, but they're trying to like, no, nah, I need a date, like. Was it the 17th? It's like, uh-uh. It don't feel that long ago, though. Yeah. Break up. What was you doing? <laughs> what was you doing oh, yeah, yeah. during the breakup? What I was doing during the breakup? Mental oh, break. I was. Yeah, okay. Mental oh, break. Oh, we're doing some building <laughs> shit. What was you doing? Let me I'm tell you. You seen the lady, huh? You told her you seen the lady, huh? Lady. You told her you a better man and all that shit is gone and you Come changed on. up. I did though. Too much. Like, lady. You know, I, you know when a nigga fuck up, they be like, I seen the lady. They know the they know the lady. You know the lady? The therapist? <laughs> you know the lady? You know when the girl be like, I need you to change and do better. You know, I don't know what the fuck you watch, man. I don't watch yeah, girl, you watch. You lost out here, bro. What I don't know what lady you talking about. <laughs> nigga, you getting I mean, toxic. Wait, that, do you know what lady you talking about? Those been in the same relationship for a long time. Yeah, have you seen the lady? <laughs> or have you seen the man? I haven't seen the lady. So you seen the man? Oh, you nothing. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know if that's like some. some I don't know if that's some religious Bible shit or so. I don't know. Like, what, let's get back to it though. What What have you been doing since the breakup? I just been building, like, really, like, just like focusing on standing, like, what I believe on. You feel me? Like, like it ain't even got to do with my relationship, but it was more of like me. Like, I was real shaky. Like, I wasn't firm type shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like. I wasn't standing on a lot of shit I was saying with a lot of people. Like, I make excuses for different people. So, so you, where were you building? Like, a castle? Man, get your weird ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Nah, but, like, nah, when, you say, when you say building, like, you mean, like, building I'm yourself building to be myself. a better person? Yeah, for sure. For her. Yeah, and my, for myself, period. Just being a better, like, you know, I'm a man, so it's like, building my I seen life. after, bro. After you guys, you kept posting, I made a video. I was like, but my biggest thing for you, bro, was to always just to keep going no matter how it came out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to keep going no matter what. Because whether the relationship or not, you know, that's something you, you're on that platform. And, you know, everybody's here for a reason. You're there for a reason. Everything happens. So just to be able to use that and just keep going no matter what. You know what I'm saying? To keep on posting and just build your own, you know, your own little legacy. You know what I'm saying? Your own legacy and building your shit. Same thing I told Brooklyn. It was like, don't let this shit get to you. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep going. Just to keep moving forward. Everybody... Comes every there, everybody's temporary, you know what I'm saying? You come and you come back out. There's things in relationships I've been where you come in contact and you stop talking for a couple months and you keep on contacting with them. You know what I'm saying? All different different reasons, but I say like all that to say, just keep you know, just keep moving forward. No matter where you're going, just keep moving forward. As long as it's forward, it doesn't matter. You know, you know, um, it's crazy to say that. All right, now this is really off topic, but you know he a big brother because Brooklyn Wayne got the fruit and he ain't stopped eating all her fruit. <laughs> Let the girl have her own plate. I called you and said the exact same thing. Like, yeah. randomly called him. And I was like, hey, bro. I was I asked him a couple questions, but I was just like, are you sure that you don't? Are you sure y'all done? He was like, I think we is, but no, I don't think so. Because I was trying to give him advice. I'm like, bro, don't. I'm like, YouTube. He was like, don't let it, like, don't let it fuck me up and I stop doing what I'm doing. Like, yeah, because mm, it's a lot of things that niggas is always the worst, get the worst part of the stick when I, at the end of the breakup. Oh, yes, bro. Especially if it's online. I was just telling you, like, bro, keep it, keep the momentum going. Yeah. Like, even if, even if their subscribers was for you in Brooklyn, keep them for you. You know what I mean? That's what I was telling them. Like, bro, don't give up. Like, don't. Stop what you're doing. Even gave him a couple video ideas. I mean, he, I mean, he didn't do any of them, but it's just you know just to keep him you know motivated. <laughs> yeah. He didn't do none of that shit. No. Well, at least they being supportive. I, I think that's great that they you know really had a friendship with him. You know, before the relationship, during the relationship, within the relationship, and after. You know that they still being supportive of Jay. Um, yeah, I don't know when they gonna ask Brooklyn the question. <laughs> but she's doing good because. I mean, I'm like, everybody focusing on Jay. Like, what about Brooklyn? Oh. <laughs> no, I seen your video. You're like, how to sell perk 30s without getting out. <laughs> 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 10, bro. <laughs> Shit, it's, it's hitting early. 
<laughs> this one of those ones. This one of the ones. I'm gonna <laughs> get in the comment back. Watch I, uh, nah, nah, so, you switch your old shit up. So like, um, y'all be both being uh young and stuff like that, and you know being able to just be in the uh be here today, like you know back like regular self. What could y'all tell couples that's literally just broke up, that's thinking it's over? Speaking how you speak the first podcast, and how can they? Like how how should they like emotions run or why, how how can they think, you know to um how can I put you know what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to simplify it. What though. can they? What advice can you guys give to people that think it's the end? Yeah, right when they break up, like the world is over. Um well, um well like Dub said like the first podcast I kind of I did think it was over and you know mm-hmm. I did think we wasn't talking no more and stuff like that but um I say time tells. Talk to the mic. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I say, I say time tells everything, like, it tells everything, like, just now, like, just, you know, who would have thought? Like, I'm not going to lie, bro. I feel like Brooklyn's going through that. You know what I'm saying? I honestly feel like Brooklyn's going. She in the middle of talking, big bro. She know what she's saying. Through that, learning as she's growing up and stuff like of that. Of course. I mean, you know everybody's I'm still, everybody's still learning, I feel like. Yeah, exactly. You know? But... What I say is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, love. He just took your grape. I was laughing. These my grapes, nigga. I don't know what, who's grapes. These, like, you got, you got, you miss your grapes. Whole food grapes. Yeah, that. That's 1959 a pound. <laughs> I'm glad somebody called him on there. I mean, golly, get one. <laughs> you want one? I'm good. Let it go. Um, but yeah, I just say time tells everything. Continue. To- That's cute. He taking over us still. Pray, you know. I, I was praying a lot, you know, for us and Justin still even, you know, you know, for, forgiveness is everything. Yeah. Do you do you know what's crazy that um that I see from y'all? Y'all are super big on your spirit, y'all um like self like not health. Yeah. I'm, oh like self God. like self love type like mind health, oh, mental health, yeah, me- mental health. And one thing that I learned from both of y'all, y'all both pray for each other. Yeah. How powerful is that in a relationship? It's, yeah. It play, yeah. That it, I, it yeah. yeah. Go yeah. ahead. I used to like, I used to pray and stuff, but I never used to pray like heavy until like Brooklyn brought it to my attention. Like we don't really pray like that. So, and there was also stuff like, you feel me? You want to get closer to God because when you live, at, like when you live by the way that God wants you to live, it's kind of like you know, just kind of teaching you to live like a like you know, a perfect like not really perfect, but you know, like. A good way, like no stealing and stuff. Just you know, stuff that yeah. you should be doing anyway. So when we prayed more for each other, it was on some stuff. It was it was just showing like we really care for each other. Like when we broke up and stuff, I still pray like, oh bless my family, bless her family, like you know, bless everybody around her and stuff. Because at the end of the day, it's no hate here. You for me, it's like yeah. we all want to, you know, we all love each other. You for me, so that's all. Exactly. That is. And people felt like I feel like when we did break up, people felt we hated each other, yeah. probably because of you know the, the way videos. It went down. Yeah, yeah, the videos we did. <clears throat> Go out, go out. Can I say this? Huh. Do you think that y'all lasted? Be- let me, let me. I'm, it's always a story. Mm-hmm. I, 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 Are there face covering? I don't know if y'all know, but me, Deshay, like my brother, we hang out a lot, like a lot, lot, right? So my brother, weird ass question. I don't even know how you got brought up. My brother was like, damn, do you fuck with Brooklyn X? Like, it was something like, don't, we don't talk to our exes no more. Mm. And then Deshay was like, that's my nigga. Is it because your family still like him? That it made it like that? You think if you, if the shade didn't like him, do you think y'all still be together? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now I feel like the shade fucks with him. You know what I mean? Yeah, the shade messes with Justin heavy and it's weird. But I- if he didn't, do you think y'all still be together after the yeah. breakup? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's about how I feel. Yeah. And yeah, nobody's but- really gonna know a person but you. Yeah. Yeah, but Justin and Desha- good answer, Brooklyn. She's her own woman. She make her own decisions. And, you know, they had a friendship under the relationship. And just because the relationship don't work, don't mean that you stop caring about somebody and praying for them. They don't sit and talk, have deep, deep conversations. Like, you know, like... You don't know that. Do y'all? Do y'all? I mean, we've had probably talk, one or two, yeah. but, like, we not, talk. nigga, every day. Like, yeah. like yeah. I love you, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, you feel me? I'm to sleep on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I hit my knee. <laughs> 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 Going to sleep on the phone. Nah, it's crazy. Brooklyn told me, I remember before I even met you, before I even met you, she was just telling me, she was like, oh, this new dude, yeah. She was like, he reminded me, because everybody met you before I even met you and shit yeah. like that. Everybody. They're like, she reminded me, he was, she was like, she reminded me, uh, he reminded me of you, Deshae. She was like, 
he reminded me of you, just like I be working and all this stuff and laughing and all this stuff. I was like, yeah, that was cool. But nah, you my nigga, nah, bro, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I be saying, bro, just to keep tapped in and locked in and shit. You but know I mess saying? with the, I respect the shape so much for not even trying to get into our relationship, like not not messing with him because I don't mess with him. Like you know, I don't. Yeah. I don't honestly believe that unless he does something like, like yeah. hurting one of y'all or you know that mm-hmm. that's or hurting me like you know well you know in a in a sense so yeah. I I respect you for that fofo. Fo. Nah, nah, it's good. Cause I, I I was never the type to tell you like don't talk to Justin. We don't I don't mess with him. I don't, you know. Yeah, no. Nah. My, my sister is that type. I know. But I I fuck with I fuck with my sister's exes. Mm-hmm. Friends, fuck with my sister. Friends, because like I was like, like I feel like, um, I how I come at them and then they open up to me. No homo. Mm-hmm. Like um, I'm just cool. Like to, like my sister, her boyfriend now, two mm-hmm. thirty in the morning picked him up from the airport, bro. Damn, because they ran That's some real shit. Because it was raining. Because you know it was raining heavy in L.A. and they ain't have no more Ubers. Yeah. I'm like fuck, mm-hmm. bro. But I just you know. Nah, he, in his head, I mean, I fuck with him, but in his head, he probably like, this nigga dub, cool as shit. I know I can talk mm-hmm. to this nigga. Yeah. You know. And but that's you good. on the you older side, bro, I'm saying, you on the older side, you, like, you're giving your wisdom to all the young and old oh, <laughs> No, like, for real. No, for real, man. Like, you are, like, you're, because <laughs> think about it, I'm not getting this nigga at 2.30 a.m. from the airport. Nigga, yes, you are, bro. bro no, I'm not. And they say, if I really call you and say I don't got no right to airport, Yeah, nigga, if I was your last resort, yeah, but that, that, last that, resort. If Uber and Lyft say unavailable. Nigga, you, you going, going to go pick him up. I'm going to say, did you call Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, Brooklyn can drop. Nigga, if, all right, so if it was just me and you in Atlanta, and you was in Atlanta, I was coming Oh, we're just in Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to realize that, bro, yeah, not yeah. from here type Yeah, of, of course. So we're not, oh, yeah, if we're not from yeah. here, but like, nigga, best believe if my niggas is up, you not get picked up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, nigga, that's, I'm going to do the same shit to y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, but nah, definitely. Um, What do I want to say? How long? Uh, what else? Are you cool with Delane? Her other ex? I don't want to talk about that. You're not cool with him? I don't want to talk about that. No comment. You feel me? Uh That's smart. No comment. Okay. Well, who who did the no comment shit? Who was that? Who was that? That was uh, everybody. No, uh, Landon said no comment. I was going to name somebody. I forgot. It reminded me of somebody. All right. Pass the joke. Um. <laughs> This nigga start shaking. Man, I'm, yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> nah, I was saying, um, I don't know. I was going to say, why did, why, I'm not going to cap, bro. I'm really not going to cap. I don't know why y'all niggas broke up. I really don't. Man, I didn't watch your video, and I didn't watch your video. I you know what was crazy? I like, was it over a girl? No. No. Mm-mm. It wasn't over a girl? No. It was just more personal shit, like. And I know it will never be. Yeah, for sure. Never be what? About oh, a boy, girl. girl. We never had no problems with girls. You know what I'm You feel me? Um, what was I finna say? <clears throat> they posted, um, I, <laughs> I, I can't pull it up, so I shouldn't probably bring it. Okay, so does never mean, never over a girl mean that they might get back together later? Huh. But, you know, I think they need time away. They need to grow, mature, and that kind of thing. But it sounded like that meant that the door was open a little bit. But I don't know if I'm reading too much. Because I don't even know where it's at. What? Back, what? I seen it. Seen what? I'll just bring, I'll just talk about it. We got an hour. Um, and you could just clear yourself, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever, because I know it's taken different. They posted a TikTok. I seen this girl on this TikTok, right? And I'm over here like, who's uh, this girl posting? And she's like, post something like, oh, something, something. And it, like, I want something for Christmas, right? And I was thinking it's going to be like somebody. I was going to click on her shit and see the Instagram. And it's this nigga. Right? I'm like, fuck. she wanted him for Christmas? A little TikTok, right? Man, it was okay. this nigga. I'm like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Block the bitch already. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, it's already over. So I, I look in the comments, Brooklyn talking about, it's cute. I didn't say she it's said, cute. She said, she said cute. cute. You said cute. Mm-hmm. Your, your reply got 3,000 comments. Mm-hmm. And um, everybody, I just wanted to say, like, were you were during the breakup? Were you jealous of other girls? You were the one that broke up with him, so right. it was just weird how you know with yeah. that you feeling that type of way. You gonna go back? Are you feeling that type of way and you broke up with him? You know, I just feel like girls would just think, yeah, just think. Um, was I jealous of any other girls? Or just like in the I say was that I ever not jealous? even that to get on that. I'm just saying, I'm saying not to say 
why would you feel some type of way if you broke up with him? Why would I feel some type yeah. of way of somebody trying to make a, a TikTok? Or just anything, flirt with him or anything, and you um, broke up with him. I didn't so feel some type on? of way at all. I thought it was cute because it's like, oh, this is cute. Like, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not cute, like, nah. oh, cute. Like, you know, like, mm-hmm. not no cute, like, cute, like, petty cute. What was a cute picture of him, no homo? No. Wait, what? It was just cute. No, she mean it's a cute way to express you got a crush on somebody. Like, she shot her shot, and that was a cute way to do it. I'm like, saying it was cute. Like, it was, it was a cute font. Like, it was cute. Like, it's oh, this TikTok. is you cute. You know, you make a you TikTok of somebody that you want to, like, you're a little older. Like, you got to explain to him. You're a little older. No, no, I get what you're saying. I'm just 30. saying. Like, it's, 30. like, cute. Like, why didn't you shoot shots at Doug for being older? He ain't that old. Like, you're saying it like you were just saying it was cute. Like, it's eye-seeking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, like, cute, like, cute, okay, like, you know, you had your little five, ten seconds, you know, cute. <laughs> you feel me? But See, Let me, all right, because, you know. I know Justin's not going nowhere, so it's like. Thank you. That's all, I, that's. The, like, that's all you know, so that's why it's cute to me, like. Uh-huh. Nah, I feel you. Yeah, not jealous, it's just like. I don't, I'm not jealous. Yeah. If Now, if Justin was the type of person to make me feel jealous and always, you know, but no, Justin makes me feel like it's no girls cuter than me, no girls above me. Um, he As he that, should. He told me what made me really like. And that is how you're supposed to treat your woman, one-on-one. Yeah, he um texted me, he said, <laughs> he told me, he said, um, oh, she don't got nothing on you. And I was like, that, you know, that made me feel like, that not made me feel better, but. I gotta start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the bitch posts you, you text your girl and say, "Bitch." <laughs> no, no, he didn't. Ain't got nothing. She ain't got nothing on you, bitch. No. <laughs> you bitch ain't got Why the fuck you in the bed with this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and she see you with her a week later. <laughs> okay. I, I was just trying to make sure. I was just sitting that this bitch ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> and I confirmed it, bitch. <laughs> that didn't look gay. But he really meant it. Jess is sweet. You know, he really meant that. And they got a beautiful relationship. But you know these two. You can't have them together without them making a joke about it. <laughs> hey, oh, I confirmed that shit, bitch. <laughs> this bitch, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I you sent, got nothing on you. I sent, I sent it to Justin asking him if he saw it. He said no. And then he watched it. And then... Yeah, no, I see. No, I don't even talk about it if we can't even bring it up no more. We can't even bring it up. But, um, yeah, I just want to see, like, if you get... Um, yeah, if you get jealous of other women, just get... No. No, that's good. You, did you get jealous of other niggas trying to get at her while um in a relationship? And I know, but you can be honest. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be yeah, sick. I did. Yeah. I would but cry. It's not, it's not, I would cry. I trust Brooklyn. Like, I trust you, but it's, at the end of the day, I just think... You don't was, trust the boys. Yeah. Yeah, that's but I know a nigga not gonna get to that point. But I, it's just the thought. You know the thought of shit, you feel me? Just you yeah. thinking about shit like that. So I was just thinking on some shit like... Like, damn, what if he texts her right now? Like, what the hell FaceTime right now? Like, <laughs> like, like, on I mean, no, on some shit, like, <laughs> well, for me, in my relationship, like, when I was in a relationship, and I know this is definitely not a thought for you guys, but for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm older, I'm grown, so I was thinking, like, what if my girl's getting her, sm- her cheek smashed right now? Damn. damn. Right now. And, you know what I'm saying? That's just beyond my thought. Literally, like, right what now. If, what if you still in a lock be, screen? She what could if, be getting her cheek smashed right now. Right now, as you as a lock screen. And I'm over here working. Work grinding. <laughs> for her. Grinding. Somebody else is grinding on and your she, girl. And if she texts me, I might respond. You might. Re- why, are you, why is she getting... I'm over here grinding my ass off while she getting... Grinding, grinding while her she ass her, off. While she exactly She's grinding her ass off. <laughs> grinding her ass. Hey, out. <laughs> Done. But... Sorry, I just got a little in my feelings. I'm talking to my therapist. I just talked to him today. <laughs> you about hey, that's good, though. I heard that works. Yeah, no, nah, I really yeah. have 9 a.m. every Sunday. No, that's um, good. Damn. Sunday? You need to go to church, nigga. The 9 a.m. Yeah. Every Sunday? Yeah. Right. Tell him, Jay. Go to church to Jay. It's not bad. That's, why you don't no, go to it, church, I, nigga? Yeah. Oh, it's Fridays, to... Fridays, every yeah, Friday. Yeah, every Sunday. We had one today, so. You should go to church on Sundays. Yeah, you should, though. You should, though. Hey, we got to find a church. Right. Tell them, sweetheart. See, Brooklyn and Jay, they know what it is. That's what I was just saying. It's no really, churches in Los yeah, Angeles. I really want to do that. It just be the churches probably be like, you probably go one time and the next time you show up, it's a whole st- stadium. No, but I hope some y'all churches, stay like this, you though. have to, some churches are like really like, you know, you really have to look into a church because some churches. Yeah, be for profit type shit. Or just, you know, they be on, they do weird things. Do yeah. so you guys feel like your guys' relationship uh, shouldn't, like, if you could take away the, like, the spotlight from the relationship, would you do it? Yes. Yeah, for sure. What do you mean by that? 
like not be all internet, right? Yeah, like if everything wasn't publicized, people couldn't see who you follow, people couldn't see whatever. People didn't even know you guys were together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's on some shit like, like I don't care about followers and shit. Like I'm just saying as far as like us being on the internet, a lot of shit. Like even with the whole situation, like we was all on the internet, you feel me? Like that shit was embarrassing because now yeah. everybody can judge, everybody can feel free to judge. And then, you know, yeah. now they can really talk like they know something, you feel me? Because it's like they know, they now they know what happened, so... Mm-hmm. Pretend like you know what's going on in people's relationship. You just see what they record. Shit, like, and but that's I think one thing. Oh, go ahead. Nah, I mean, take this as a joke when I'm done. But I'm being serious. You see how you just said that, right? Though yeah. everybody is, is is has their own opinion to anything. Yeah. Just like this. Do you eat McDonald's? Yeah. Do you eat McDonald's? Mm-hmm. You do. Yeah, just the fries, though. Why? Why? You, why you just you ain't turn <laughs> anything bad? You eat McDonald's? Fuck no. Why? Because it's just nasty. It's not good for you. I mean, I don't think anything is. But. I know, but it's like yeah. nasty. Like, I don't... Not nigga, I don't nigga I'm gonna die one day, shit. I die eating good food, nigga. <laughs> now, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just like people have... A, like, people have their own opinion on McDonald's, yeah. right? And it's just based off what somebody else said or what they saw. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. That's where everything, though. Yeah, that's what that's what it is on me. That is, bro, well, that's no. some real shit. That's some real... I didn't even notice that. Okay, that's, that's why dumb is on the podcast. Yes, sir. <laughs> Giving out gyms, really, because you don't know unless, like, you know, in science and shit, like... Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You got to form your own opinion. Exactly. Yeah. But a lot of people bro. are sheep, bro. A lot of people follow. That's why I said people, when people break, when y'all break up, they have to choose sides. They yeah. have to. Or else they'll go crazy. Like, they, yeah. they have to choose somebody. Really don't got to. That's the Yeah, you like, really you know, don't. You really don't. And we didn't either. We love them both. No, but they have to. Yeah, they feel like they, they gotta like, chill. Like they it's have like to. either they gonna hate me or hate her. It's like for what? Exactly. Like, like, the same when you was with us, you same when you was when we was together, ain't nothing changed. Because then when y'all get with somebody else, they be like, oh, so and so look better, and then they yeah. go with that person. If they don't think, if they don't think the girl you like, they don't they they could like you for you, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. love you. You get with a girl that they don't like or some shit, or they don't think is better than Brooklyn, they're not gonna fuck with you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Or some shit. But it's like they followed you for you. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, they just wish you. Why they just you know? That's exactly. why I'd be like, I'd be so just like. And that's why the internet's fake, bro. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All this shit is fake. Like the internet. That's what I was telling you today. Like the internet, bro. Those comments when you be talking about, they bashing me. They're bashing me. I tell, I, I be three saying, comments. Bro, I, that's three what I be comments. saying. Yeah. Like, bro, you can't let that shit get to you. At bro. all. Like, At the there's end of the day. Some, some things I've done. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring it up, but you know. <laughs> What? I'm past that now. <laughs> when that nigga changed that voice, that shit funny as hell. <laughs> what happened, nigga? I'm past that. Huh? What happened, nigga? <laughs> uh, I'm past yeah, Why you I'm, laugh, I'm your, why you laugh with your tongue? <laughs> Am I tripping? He do that. Yes, you're tripping. Like, how you laugh? Hey, you laugh like this. You got yeah. <laughs> Wait, do it again? <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait. Can you scoot back real quick? Can you do that again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like... You know what you be doing, nigga? Don't act yeah. like you, nigga. No, that's not a shit in Just here. the internet's fake. Yeah, yeah, nah, I was y'all, tripping. Y'all gotta yeah. um fix that. Yeah, yeah come on, man. That right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is season one. Season one's the beginning. About season four, we shit. Right, we might have a whole new background. Crazy. About no. season two. Season two, no. It's gonna be just no. like this. Bro, no. Probably do it on the beach. In the next, in the next. Oh, that would be hard. That would be hard. I'm not gonna cap. That'll be hard. Damn, I was just cap. That would be hard. Hard as shit. Gotta get microphones so the winds don't. The wind. You got what's the power source? Oh, over there. Yeah, like. Power source, but Brooklyn, right? You gotta watch about the wind interfering with the sound. You can get by the sound, but you can get a fake ass. When we, bro, like the next couple episodes, we're gonna have like stuff over here, like signs and shit like that. When are you gonna move? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Yeah. But, um. You've been here for how long? I don't even know. Dang. I don't even know. But, uh, what was I finna say? Man, yeah, relationships look hard on the internet. Man, come for me. Bro, you know they, what I'm saying? I'll be like, you see. <laughs> You see me, you see me right do it now, and failed. Is it? Right now. Three times. I'm going to like keep our you know, s- stuff off social media. Cause yeah. Is it is it anything that you guys w- will want to tell, y- like, tell each other during the time y'all was broken up? Like, y'all should, that's all I can say now? Or have you already said it? Um, I think I... I <laughs> this nigga finna cry. You know, when they got it. <laughs> so you been fucking with somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be sick to know, bro. Oh, let me ask you that. Let me ask you that. As as a man, two men. Yeah. If you found out that uh, Brooklyn was messing with somebody while y'all was broken up, how would you feel? I'd be hurt. He's not talking to me. No, I'm saying fuck For the sure. hurt. Explain the hurt. Nigga, I'd be broken. What you mean? Right. Like, ex- like if I gave you a pizza, uh, would you eat it? You dead ass hungry though. 
Uh-uh. But you sick about the situation, right? Oh, what I eat up? No hell, nigga. I I I was eating once a day. All right, listen. Oh, we man, go. I got so scared. Hey, bro, we going skating. Are you going? No, I'm not doing. But I didn't miss for my birthday. I didn't do nothing for my birthday. For my birthday. When's your birthday? On the 14th. Uh, I, I told yeah. you happy birthday. So on my birthday, happy, happy birthday, birthday too. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. On my on my birthday, I had just I didn't do shit all day. I was just chilling and shit. Like I was just laying, what like just sick. Like I ain't gonna lie. So. As you can say, you can you you know since you being honest, you can say that um, you're fifty percent right now. You was fifty percent on your birthday, yeah. but right now in this present time, you're a hundred percent. So this yeah, is your equal, that, right? Probably like tomorrow, I'll be probably honey. I gotta let this shit soak in. Uh huh. See, Dub is digging. See, people be sleeping on Dub, but Dub just told us what we needed to know. Did y'all catch that? He be thinking he had came in from the backside and got us the answers that we wanted. You know, even though they don't want to go public. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Dub. No, for real. That's it. I can't see. Hey, man, listen, man. Listen. I wish. I swear to God. Not no bullshit. No, no thing. I wish I was honest as you in my younger days. And with women or just with Britney or anybody, period. Because I feel like my relationship would have been better. I'm like a person that, nigga, find out yourself. Find it yourself. My fin- The feelings I got, find it yourself. That's how it was. But then it was, it was affecting the way I treated her. Like... You feel me? I was hurt or I was treating her a certain way. I was like stuck on dwelling in the past. So I'd be like, you can't do this. But then it was like, ah, because at the end of the day, I got to treat her the same way I found her. You feel me? So when I first started talking to Brooklyn, she was wearing all it. Well, she, no, you weren't even wearing stuff like that, huh? But you started, but then I started letting her and stuff. And then she got more into it. Like, I loved it. Then makeup. Like, I could have been like, hell no. Like, you look ugly. Wearing stuff makeup. like the, the. Like the clothes she be wearing. Like, oh, I be fucking throwing up. Oh, you be throwing up? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I be reporting the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Every just would be cut right here. I'd be t- down, nigga. I posted my story. I make a whole YouTube video. Take that shit down. Hell no, I can't because then it's like Look she out messing with her coins. You leave her alone. Brooklyn is going. She she is a a grown lady. You know, quit playing with her. How you gonna report her videos and her posts? That ain't right, big brother. Don't lose, you know, she gonna lose like the love for herself and think she don't look good. You feel me? Cause that's, I guess that's how she felt. You know, a while ago, she felt like she couldn't wear certain stuff, and and it kind of made her feel ugly. You feel me? Like she looking like a boy, you wearing like yeah. sweats all day. You feel oh, me? A so boy. on some shit like just like you feel me? Just let you, like if you like makeup, that's what you like, and you feel like that enhances your beauty. Like then wear it. Then that's you. You feel me? At the end of the day, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't get want to get a cut, and you tell me I look ugly, now I wouldn't get that cut again. You feel me? Exactly. So, oh, so now I like that um, you I let don't her think, be her. You know, I don't what think it enhances my looks. But I do think that I do need to, like, get into different things. Like, I feel like I've been, you know, just the same mm-hmm. for all these years. I like, I want... Yeah, women like change, you know? So makeup feel, make us feel like, okay, I could look like this one day. Just like your hairstyle and change your hair color. Try makeup out, you know? I used to not wear, like, I used to not like wearing makeup. I just wanted to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Yeah. You know? No. And I've been doing that. I like, bro, I like you. Let her be her. You know what I'm saying? You let her, you don't ever force her to be something that she doesn't want to be. You know what I'm saying? And just, I respect your guys' relationship in Brooklyn. Just seeing you grow up, you know, I respect it. And I just love to see you grow into the woman you are, you know, and just doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad I don't got no busted-ass sister, bro. I'm, gl- I'm glad as fuck. <laughs> like, I'm so serious. Like, no busted-ass. <laughs> imagine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm imagine like- that you can search on Reddit your sister. That's horrible, bro. Oh my goodness. Not that I would even would do it, but Wait, think about it. Like, they ain't Aiden. Like, like, that's where he's like, that's, didn't that happen like, with him? Like, I mean, it's, that's a profitable oh. situation. You know, I think she did oh, that for money, oh, but yeah, right. you got to think about it. Like, I'm talking about nigga, South Central. Yeah, I get sister bitches. Yeah, like, like roller. You got a sister as a roller. Like, that shit horrible. Like, yeah, horrible. yeah. If you're, if you're as a so, roller, oh my goodness. So, but I'm, I cry. But I, so, yeah. I don't know if you watched the podcast what we did with TT in Brooklyn. And what I was telling, uh, what I was telling uh, Brooklyn and TT is, is that, well, Brooklyn especially, that you guys are so good with each other, right? And when things are bad, y'all don't know how to react because how y'all act with each other. You know, y'all pray up, y'all talk about anything. Yeah. When things is bad, you don't know how to react to it. So you say shit you shouldn't say yeah. that you think is okay. And then your backs, and when you think about it, like, man, that's fucked up to yeah, say. That's lot, yeah. So that's what, like, that's why people need to like balance the good and bad. That's why I argue sometimes. Yeah. It's some I think in my head, like, man, I could really just not say nothing right now. Mm. But I'm a what the fuck did you drop? Like just to balance it out, the good with the bad. Cause I know how to argue yeah. and I know how to be good. Yeah. Cause if you don't know how to be bad, you say the most fucked up shit. In the politest way. I'm talking about 
don't even know shit. you said. You just said. I get what you said. Nah, yeah, that's what shit was going <laughs> on. The shea be like, that's why your blood type zero. And if you, if you need a blood transfer, ain't nobody gonna have that. Ain't nobody gonna have that zero type blood, bitch. The shea <laughs> will go like, low. Damn, the shea. I'm talking about, you could already. <laughs> be low. Yeah. And he would yeah, stump your ass under the ground. You could be the lowest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'd jump off the bed to knock your ass down in the basement. <laughs> you mean, uh, I know your argument. Nah, nah, Bro, you know. I ain't gonna lie. When I, when I first, me and Brooke, huh, what you saying? When I was saying, like, you grew though. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you grew a lot though. Like, in the beginning, you we did have, like, I ain't gonna lie. You had, like, a temper. Like, just, like, mad. You get mad, but you grew over that shit. Then it's like, when all that shit happened and everything was out the way, when you start getting candles and shit and all yeah. that shit, like, oh, yeah. you started changing the way you just act. Like, you was real chill. Yeah, thanks, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just had to change my way to God. You know what I'm saying? I'm a cash app. You're saying that. Good luck, my nigga. Yeah, nah. I, I was like, man, when I. Up your hand. That's so sweet, Jay. It's time bro. to bring that shit up. I'm like, this nigga take a love. I know, I'm God. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, got you. Bro. But no, nah, I appreciate you, bro. I'm just been trying to get easier. I've been focusing. Even stuff like this podcast is just starting ways to like expand myself and let people feel like, you know, to get to know me personally. I feel like this podcast was the best thing ever. Yeah. You know, it's just like a, a, pretty much it's, it's a life changing thing, honestly. I feel like for me, yeah. you know what I'm saying it's becoming the number. I'm starting to love this. You and know it's really saying? franchisable. Love. Keep it a exactly. buck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the beginning of something crazy. The, Everybody watching this, this is the beginning of something crazy. Like we have things going. Like I got merch coming out soon for my birthday, but there's some crazy merch coming out. Yeah, like crazy, some nice ass shit. That's your own ass. I ain't gonna lie, that shit hard. I'm not just saying that because. You know, you're right here. That shit hard. Nah, I appreciate yeah. y'all. I'm telling you, that's dropping on my birthday. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go crazy. So I'm just trying to figure out just really things that just to expand myself and just being like a YouTube. You know, I want to push myself as a brand, you know? Yeah, for sure. But yeah, you know, and but back to what I was saying, you guys, man, I really just appreciate how you guys like support each other. You guys actually match and connect. You know what I'm saying? You guys help bring each other up. And that's the one number one thing. You guys know, Brooklyn, you're being way mature. You, you're, you're being, you have your low moments, but you're way mature than where you were before and just like handling things. Even how, you and me getting arguments. You even become more mature than me. I would try to get a reaction out of you and you won't even budge or just whenever, you know what I'm saying? I'll say right. things, but you keep going. And I'll be like, damn, like, that girl, she didn't say nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was before you and me used to go at it, bro. Like, three years ago, me and Brooklyn were telling each other to die and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I used to be, bro. I used to be, I hate you. I wish you died. Bro, I tell you, wish you died. I'm like, you die, nigga. Like, like we wish each other die. A couple so, days ago, me and the got into it, and I didn't even, I, I just don't have, I just don't think I have time anymore. Bro. So that's what I wish I can get to, and that's what I'm trying to get to. Some point where your emotions, you don't let people control you. Once you let people control your emotions, you're controlled. When you let people get somebody angry, you get me angry, you controlled my emotions. Right. Yeah. It just shouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's true. And that comes from prayer, and it's good that, you know, her and Jay have that relationship uh, that they, you know, kind of balance each other out a little bit. So that's good. But that's right. You don't let nobody control your emotions. Once you do that and you figure out later, because then later, I apologize. I do that stuff when I calm down. But you shouldn't even have to do that because mm -hmm. you're in the moment. You know what I'm saying? You're in the moment. So you're mad. So all that stuff's heated. So that's just what I'm working on. Just honestly, just handling my emotions, being able to keep on going and just expand myself, not letting people control me. You feel me? Yeah. So let me ask you this, uh, Brooklyn. Um, give Deshae relationship advice right now. Dealing with his current situation, all that you know, you don't have to put it out. All that you know, mm -hmm. but give him some, give him advice, like he would give to you, um, and we're gonna hear. It. Hey, y'all, this is Brooklyn's uh, advice. You guys, y'all know, uh, Brooklyn is very, very big on mental health, um, her love, self love, and she's gonna give Deshay, her brother, some relationship advice. Maybe this advice that Brooklyn is gonna give can help you out. So, Brooklyn, the floor is yours. Please give. <laughs> To say some relationship oh my God. on his current situation, okay. you know it, I know it, but you don't have to get deep into yeah. it so they can know it. But yeah, yeah just give me advice. I want to um, hear. It. People are gonna take shit, you know. You don't know by saying. Yeah, yeah. Keep something the wrong. Oh, way. this is gonna be hard then a little bit. Um, I don't know. I, like I always tell you. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so weird. Like he didn't ask me. Okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> But um, you know, like I always tell you, this you gotta love yourself first because if you don't love no, if you don't love yourself first, you can't really love somebody else. Like you can't really put your all, and that's what I kind of learned. Like I didn't love myself, so I I didn't I couldn't give Justin my all. I didn't love him how to my full potential because I didn't love myself. Mm -hmm. So you know, sometimes um, you reflect on things like yeah. you reflect on the negative, you know, and you react really fast, mm -hmm. like with your mouth what you're thinking or you know even like sometimes with videos like mm -hmm. you think of this good idea and you do it mm 
mm-hmm. but you don't know the outcome or the cause of the hurt it will mm-hmm. bring people, you know. And, yeah. um, you know, I don't know. You just, I feel like therapy is really good for you. Yeah. You know, just on certain things yeah. and stuff like that. Um, you know, I just say, if you're not ready for a relationship right now, don't, don't get in one. force yourself to be ready for a relationship. Yeah, don't, you know, don't get in one or don't hold, you know, the other person back because you don't want to see them happy with nobody else, you know? Yeah, you, that's true. Another thing is, too, you got to you know your worth as a dude, though. Yeah, and yeah. that's, like, that That can be selfish in a way, you know, because, like, you know, if... Bro, you spitting, bro. Go ahead, <laughs> finish. <laughs> that nigga <is> spitting, dude. <laughs> but go ahead, go. I was like, 100, 100. <laughs> Right, and I love how Dub is appreciating her, you know, and making sure that she's, you know, you just give her a prize because even though she's younger than probably everybody else, you know, she's very wise for her age, you know, and so she has gems and she's made, she's come a long way. And, you know, a lot of times as a big brother, you know, she don't get to just tell him stuff like this. So Dub kind of gave her an opportunity to express herself. But yeah, you know the selfish you, you says the the knowing your wealth, knowing yourself and your wealth could be selfish. Nah, yeah. yeah, no, for real. Like, I don't know. Um, oh, surround your people. Like, I mean, surround yourself. Like, you know how you surround yourself with Dub mm-hmm. and Daryl and yeah. stuff. You know they they're they're positive thinkers. Yeah. You know they're they're doing stuff with their lives. You know, and I have I'm not even gonna lie. I have a couple friends that you know are, are not really doing nothing. For their lives, so are always complaining, or always, you know. So I had to kind of cut those people off because it's like, yeah. what are you benefiting me in life? You know, yeah, exactly. like I don't have no time for the negative. I don't have no time for like, bro. Like I have a friend that's been the same way for four years. Yeah, mm-hmm. and haven't yeah. changed at all. You know, and same problem, same relationship. And don't, and don't see it's a problem. Yeah, and don't see it's a problem. Or when I come to you with a problem, you know, it's it's always a problem. Yeah, exactly. Instead of. Fixing that problem and turning it into yeah, oh, yeah and changing. Yeah, I had so a, I had to sorry I had to um cut that person off. So what I'm saying is like you know just surround yourself with people that benefit positive yeah. in your life or yeah, are benefiting you. Man, you know? yeah, I, I, had a, I had a homie. Hold on, let me damn let me go. <laughs> Shit, I'm, I'm saying that, that's, too. that's gonna be clipped. That's that's TikTok <laughs> right there. Yeah, that's TikTok. That's TikTok. <laughs> And they're gonna, yeah, be, they're they're gonna be like, <laughs> "No, nah, I appreciate you, bro, and I love you. I appreciate you for nah, for your words." You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Always down. I'm always there for you, no matter what. And you know that. Another one. I might go. What was you saying? I was saying, uh, but yeah, now nah, friends. That shit, friends. But yeah, I had a nigga. I had a homie friend. You just go cross eyed looking up. <laughs> this nigga been a frozen grape or something. This was crunchy as hell. You never had a crunchy ass grape. <laughs> That nigga actually bit the perk he had in the back of his tongue and shit. He said he bit the perk. <laughs> that nigga was mad as hell. He bit the <laughs> He heard that bitch crying. That nigga was like, fuck, I'm gonna get that busted in it. <laughs> hey, nigga, bite the grape, bro. You ain't, look. That bitch ain't make no sign of it. Bro, I thought you didn't really bite the grape, bro. You said you bit the perk. <laughs> I'm gonna be buzzing off the meds in this interview. <laughs> Horse mouth looking at him. That's what he's telling you when you feed a horse a grape. <laughs> hey, look at his tongue when he laughed. Bro, that shit is weird, bro. Laugh at my tongue, bro. All right, but you're all right, my bad, bad. Go ahead. You said the friendship shit is real. Oh, my. oh yeah. Now, I had a homie friend. He just on bunk. Like, I wasn't really being there for a nigga while the time I was going through her, you know? It was more so like, like, let's do a YouTube video. Let's do this. Like, you're bugging about the wrong thing. You feel me? That's like you going through a breakup. And you really hurt, though, like, type shit. Yeah, so and I'm bugging you like this shit. Let's film today. Let's film today. Nigga, let's talk out them four videos today. Like, I know, but I hate when people be But are you, but were you 100% honest with him? Like, nigga, I'm hurt. Nigga, I'm yeah, sick I, I over here, telling, nigga. Yeah, I ended up telling him. I ended up telling him. Because I, I, I was to a point where I used to, like, be quiet to help people's emotions. Like, even with the video today, right? I just said, like, let's not, like, I said in a polite way, like, let's not say the B word no more, like, yeah. you know, and he respected it, you feel me? So I'm going to continue to fuck with him. But if I'm saying, like, but I, I mean, I say that to say this, like, I used to not say stuff to not hurt people's feelings because I know how they feel. Like, I thought about them too much, like, yeah. Like, let's say you went, like, you said something, I may feel like, I mean, I could go off on you right now, but this nigga probably feel hurt after, like, you yeah. feel me? So I wouldn't do this shit. But it was like, at the end of the day, I got to put myself first, like, yeah, and I always feel like, bro, the way you talk to somebody can be so, like, you can talk to somebody out of a situation or in a situation you want without yeah. 
you know what I'm saying, being like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, We're not, not what saying you said, anything how you at all. Said type shit. Exactly. Like you don't you don't gotta not say like say how you feel, but there's always how you say to somebody. If you yeah. learn somebody, if you, it's all about learning somebody. Once you learn That's true. You wanna be sensitive, especially if you wanna keep that person as a friend. You just don't go around cursing everybody else out or taking your bad day out on people that you care about. Somebody can learn how they work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Then you can learn how to talk to them. Know when to talk to them. You know, people are like fucking tests. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know when to ask Brooklyn to do something for me. Or I know when to ask Brooklyn for a favor. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because when certain moods and shit like that, certain ways to work with her, even mom knows. You know what I'm saying? So it's- one, another thing is, um, I want to do therapy too to um learn how to, like, cope with my emotions. No, yeah, no. Nah, mom set me up with it, so. Yeah, I always, like, I always, like, don't deal with my emotions. I always put them in the back and keep yeah. a smile on my face for other people. Like, yeah. I'll, you know, just so I don't mess your mood up, I'll yeah. put a smile on my face. Or, yeah, you know. but no. I see, I feel like if you was to bring out your emotions, I think that's when people would think of you as weird. Yeah, yeah. that's what, that's what, you know what I mean? I had to stop, like, being so emotional because I didn't want it to, like, make me seem as a weak, like, person or yeah. a man. You feel me? I so, don't. That yeah, just but, shows but me it, you care. Yeah, but but it's just like back to the you be like crying ass nigga. Yeah, like and then you be like damn soft that's ass nigga. You, like, you feel me? You like damn, damn nigga. I thought I can open yeah. to you. I thought I can be me. That's true, and it's gender that way too. When men, you know, if they do, if they're too emotional, it look like you know some people think they're weak, and that's not true. You know, and you're you, think you can't you can't open to me. I do. I don't. I open to you. No, I'm asking like you feel like. If you cry to me, nah, like, but it's just as a man, though, as, to myself, like, mm. damn, I gotta chill. Like, I'm like, that's it. All right, let me just not. You know, it'd be t- every time you finna type something, he just delete that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's too emotional, my nigga. <laughs> Toughen up, nigga. <laughs> oh, no, I be getting that. No, I be doing that shit, especially to like niggas that work for me. Mm-hmm. And them niggas fuck up, bro. I write the most hateful message mm. and I just erase it. Because yeah. it's like, all right, bro, I understand. I don't wanna be that boss that I used to have when I was, you know, but I just erase it to be like, bro, just fix this, bro. Like, yeah. I, I'll make sure I put bro in it so it can make it, 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 it even out like on some nice But shit, if yeah, it's man. just, it goes that, I, yeah, I kind of do that, but I don't be wanting to be an asshole to people. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you do have to though, because people will get comfortable. Yeah. I be asshole to strangers though, <laughs> but not people that I know, like I couldn't, if I know my ending goal is to never talk to this nigga again, like if my if if I get into it with somebody and I know the ending goal is to never fuck with this nigga again, I'm going hard. You doing dirt? I'm going hard on you. I swear to God, I'm going hard. Mm-hmm. But if I if I was getting into it with Deshay right now, it's shit that I know I could. If my brain wouldn't even register fucked up shit because I know once I probably leave the door, we back cool. Right. So it's I think that's like how people should take relationships too because people say some hurtful and do hurtful shit and in relationships when they say that bro the person perceives it and really thinks like oh that's how you think of me that's how you know yeah because they got this persona that when you're angry you tell the truth yeah. no yeah. nigga I'm trying to get that reaction on your face yeah. to make you feel you know <laughs> exactly you're trying to say mean bro <laughs> mean shit mean yeah. shit yeah. but I don't know what my problem I was saying the meanest shit like anything like but that's just a problem bro you can't do that shit that shit is bad like anything <laughs> <laughs> throw your fucking anger. Don't let me see your social, nigga. I'll sell that bitch. Let me get into it with somebody. Put you in the army. Let me get into it with somebody. And it's, I'll put you in the army. Let me get into it with somebody, and I know it's like. That's what I'm saying. A stranger, though. I'm waking up at six a.m. every day, nigga. <laughs> if it's a stranger it's that I that I know that's what's gonna go. Like I say the most hurtful shit. Bro. Let a waiter say something to my kid off the way or something. Yeah. It's not even about where you work at or nothing. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I don't know you, nigga, and I'm never gonna see you again, nigga. I'm gonna go hard on you, bro. The hardest. I feel you. Man, let me. I got this little. Let me just tell you the story. It's nothing about nobody. I had to tell it. So I went to Chanel, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got. This is this is. Uh, I went to Chanel the other day, and I had this dirty ass. Uh, Nike Teco. Mm-hmm. This is not the dirty one. Uh, <laughs> but I had a Nike. It was dirty, and I had on some flip flops. Nike socks, no hat, didn't have my hair cut, nothing. I just looked at bald. Had all this. I looked at like bald. I looked at broke. You looked at bald. No, listen. I look I looked like, like, like a hair disease. Look, 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 look. You see how he, you see like hey, he, No, you can't probably can't stand up. But I looked at like how he look right now, you know? Stand up. Very disorganized. Just like he jumped out the closet, you know, didn't care. Leave Justin alone. You know what I'm I saying? Was in a rush. Doing this, bro. I know, I know. So that's how I looked. But nigga, the Chanel nigga, bro, he was like, how much? I was asking him, I'm like, how much is this bag? He was like, 11000 right? And he seen it in my face. I'm like, I ain't paying 11000 
So then he looking around. He's like, how much is this bag? I was like, I'm like, how much is this one? This one looking nice. He's like, it's 9,800. He's like, can you just tell me where you want to stay at? Because there was a lot of purses. I'm like, bro, I spent like seven. And he was like, okay. And then when we got done, he was like, man, I had my, I had my watch on though, but it was under my wrist. Mm-hmm. He's like, man, why are you acting so cheap? I know you got it. But it's like the way I was dressed, I thought the, the nigga was treating me like I was broke. Yeah. But he was like, oh, I seen your keys and because I, you know, I got a couple yeah. cars. So he was just like, I was like, do it look like I asked him. I had to. I'm like, but do it look like I'm broke? He's like, it looks like you're one of those guys that just got off work and you're coming to buy your girlfriend a last minute gift. He's like, I can tell you do something because I see your watch. I see you got a Range Rover. I see you got a Tesla. He's like, I see, um, yeah, those Yeezy slides. Those are very, it was like, the, the way that nigga treated me, bro, I was so happy. I don't know why I mean bring this up, bro, but it was Black just like man. it was like, bro. Yes. Like you made it type shit. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly how I felt. I'm I like, I give made you my it. money. And then the nigga was like, the dude was like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. He's like, um, he's like, it's only rich black people in this area in LA. That's lit. He was like, I'm not, I didn't look at you no way. He's like, it's it's only black people that come in this goddamn. They're the rich. Keep it a buck. And they're the only ones that are probably gonna want to buy this shit. Keep it a yeah, buck. Yeah, he was like, white niggas not buying that like, shit. He's like, I'm not buying this goddamn bag. You know, I was like, shit, I don't know why I bought the bitch either. He's like, he's like, I personally wouldn't buy this bag. It's high as shit. Like, yeah, but they just, they don't, they don't value what we value, like, because of where we come from and what we, how we look at stuff. So it'd be yeah, like, it was like I made it. I was like, damn, I made it. Yeah. No. Damn, 11000 for a bag. That's some shit, though. 7800 Huh? That's, that's still high. I paid, got the one for seventy eight. Oh, oh, you bought? Oh, I thought you were trying to. Oh, okay. I spent. No, I spent a, a seven seven thousand eight hundred dollars on on a one bag on one item. One bag. Oh shit. Was it big? Nope. It was that curve one. Huh? Nope. It's just the box one that say Ch- that got the Chanel thing. Is when is this gonna be up? That's what I was just thinking about the whole time you were talking, bro. I don't think she, I, I mean, she'll have it by tomorrow. Christmas but. tomorrow. Oh, Christmas yeah. tomorrow. It's like a little Morning. C thing. It's like a little, you know. Yeah, I want a Chanel bag for Christmas, but I might gift that to for myself. So you see on both sides like Chanel? Hmm? You see on both sides like Chanel? Huh? Nigga, what? See on both sides. Oh! Like- Nigga, what the fuck? That? I said that shit, bro. I, you know mean, like, I don't know. Did you just come up with that? Yeah, I just came up, bro. I just said that shit. Yeah. You see on both sides. I'm finna put that shit in my soul. That shit hard. <laughs> you see on you both sides. I thought you were saying, like, like, is it nail. two C's on both sides? Because I thought she was talking about me and her. Like, you see what oh, size she came? And then no, he's like, that's. Because you're talking about C and C. I'm saying C, C on both sides. sides. Like Chanel. Damn. Why does Chanel have two C's? Huh? I don't know. That was just on the <laughs> two is better than one, I guess. <laughs> Gucci is. No, um, what I was saying, um, I want to say Brooklyn. You always talking about moving out and shit. Do you see yourself? You think you could ever move in with Justin? Oh, let me. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? Is that the plan? Yeah. So how are you talking like that? I'm saying, yeah. Like I see my future. I see me with Justin forever. You know, like I don't know. I just I don't want nobody. <laughs> I don't want nobody else. I don't like nobody else. When it was when I was out of a relationship, I didn't even I wasn't thinking about nobody else. I wasn't thinking about another relationship, what somebody yeah. else could do. Like, you know, I was so big on growing both of us so we can be better for each other. Yeah, for so. sure. That's what even with arguments and shit, like we we don't even argue like that. We just be getting into it. But like when we get into it, it be on some like, what are we arguing about? Like, what are we finna do after this argument? Like, if we gonna stay right. if we if we gonna like be if we trying to like be together, why are we arguing? Like just say how you feel and shit, and say, you know, just but don't do the most. You feel me? Just tell a nigga how you feel. You feel me? I'm gonna work on my reaction so this shit could just end smoothly, and then we just go on past it. You know, so right. so just because people don't people, it just can I move in too? No, hell, to get your own. With us? <laughs> just just hell no, nigga, get your own shit. I don't need to be. I don't need to be playing my game when I hear cheeks. Bro. Bleed roommates. What? What did you just say? I don't need to be in my room playing a game and I'm hearing him clapping cheeks, bro. Oh, I thought it, I I didn't hear what the fuck did you? Wait, I, I thought he said something else. He just said, I, <laughs> I was like, nigga, what? <laughs> what he just said? I know what you thought. <laughs> I thought that nigga said, I don't want you playing my game while I'm, I'm clapping cheeks. cheeks. I, that's exactly what he said. Oh my god! I'm like, god. nigga, no, what? No, what? No, bro, no, that's what you. <laughs> I just so uncomfortable. Can we not talk about Nobody that? Nobody say that. He did not say that. He he, he said what he said. 
No, that's what I... Yeah, whatever. But listen, listen, listen. So, um... Oh! Tell him about... He's trying to be a real host. He's trying to get the dirt. New mixtape, man. It's, it's 430,000 people watching the On A Serious Note podcast. Yes, sir. We're in 500,000 by in January. Okay. okay. Might be 500,000 before we post this. You know what I mean? Hottest what, podcast. What do y'all like? Like 430. I think we have 440. Shit, you never know, my nigga. What is 70? No, I'm just saying. Shut, shut your shit out. Your shit just came up. Oh, yeah. I just dropped an uh, EP called uh, Mentally Unstable. I just dropped, I think it's like six songs. Or 440. 440. 440? So we probably be at 460. You 60 away. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We going, you know what I'm saying? You just dropped your EP. He came yeah. out. Yeah. Hey, I cried when I heard that Brooklyn song. I was Everybody thought out. she was dead. Not thought she was dead, but people in the comments were like, damn, yeah, like, that shit hit like she was dead or something. So let me ask you this. So. Did you like? Did you want the other thing to be cut out when you was talking in the beginning? Because I remember you did the song with TT. And T, you told TT no, to cut out. No, when she was the talking. only reason why I wanted TT's out because I was like so awkward talking. Like I was like, yeah, TT talk. <laughs> but she was. It was like it was awkward like, in this song. No, it wasn't. It, it was, it was, it was, it was like, like from it a video. It wasn't no talk. It was from an actual video. That's what I'm saying. So it wasn't awkward to you. Mm, did you like, it was from like a video. the song? Yes, I loved the song. He why played didn't it. you react to it? Why not react? I told her to. But she already been react to it. We did a video. Yeah, her, well, been, she been heard my song. Heard it. Yeah. I hear every. I hear all. Yeah, I you know, every song. Already. But you know, um, why didn't react to it? I didn't react to it because he react to it. Yeah, so and what? she she, she been react, react to it. To it. She already, so what? And I've been. Reacting. You know, Kennedy's um most popular video is her reacting to arguments. I song seen. that was about her. Yeah. Uh-huh. Biggest, her biggest uh, video. Two point five million views. I, did, I, I told like her, I told points. her to react like to it. Three million. But she been. I think it's six million now. She been had a reaction though. Yeah, Ben had a reaction to it. Do it over. When y'all leave or when you sit over there, react to it. No, you should. I no, I, what I'm saying is not for him. Yeah, but he right. He right. Bring money because people want to see what she think about it and they want to see her listen to it. Because it is. Is this for him? But what I'm saying is y'all a team is one, right? Yeah, for so sure. So if you react, then that mean more people hear it, right? My yeah. brother got signed off arguments. A real life. Arguments is a real song where he was his his ex girl, not his current girl. His ex girl left him. He he said he didn't eat for days. He said I ain't eat for days like I'm fasting. Yeah. You remember you just said you couldn't yeah. eat? No, for sure. He made that into a situation. He got signed off that song. My yeah. brother's a multi millionaire off that his one emotion song. So you'll be helping him, mm-hmm. and your fans want to know how you react to it. Yeah. Like I said, the shade got trending. You got uh, 200 in a day, and I got the top comment on the video, so it's like we're all together anyway. <laughs> anyways, like, I feel like you should react to it to give your react. Don't, don't, on the podcast, don't say how you feel about the song. I think you should do it by yourself. And this is what I'll be trying to tell TT and everybody else that want to do YouTube. Take control of every situation that's brought to you that you think one person would care about because that's all it takes. If yeah. one person cares about your opinion, they want to hear it all the time. Yeah, That's why this podcast is so successful. On a serious note, podcast is on Spotify right now. First okay. link in the description. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You got to go watch it. But that's why that's why me and Deshae is so successful. And that's why... I remember I called Deshae. He did the little uh, video where he did the choir shit, right? Mm-hmm. It got 200 in a day. And then I... he The next day, he posted the you're reacting to the video. And I'm like, nigga, I've been seeing that song. And his shit blew up. Shit and it was just like... Half a million. And what it, like niggas right niggas want... Thousand. Because they... This is the thing. They see a video. If you do it like a planned video, they can watch it anytime. They yeah. can go. They want to watch it when they out to eat or when they're on a plane, download it, watch it on a plane. It's going down right now. They, it's shit going down right now. They want to hear what you got to say about the video. Mm. Not only for them, do it for you. I mean, Christmas, I know you bought people a lot of gifts. Get your money back. <laughs> got my money back. Get your money back. Get your money back. I spent about 11K on Christmas. I'm getting my money back. Somehow. I ain't spent shit yet. Nothing? I didn't want Christmas happen. Nigga, it's over. Nigga, it's over. Nigga, it's <laughs> over. Christmas in three hours. Nigga, Christmas is in 15 minutes. Nigga. <laughs> 15 minutes. It's real? over. Oh. Nah, nah, oh. we go. Nah, but yeah. I ain't getting nobody nothing yet. Yeah. Nah, for nigga, real. Nigga, what do you mean yet? Nigga, yet? Nigga, tomorrow I might get them a postcard or a gift card or something. I don't know, but my, my, we never really, like, for Christmas. You Mexican. Never... You celebrate Christmas today. I know. No, That's my, Hanukkah. No. That, that no, is Christmas. what? And, and now they, they right? no, Hispanics, no. They Hispanics. Say yeah, they said, oh, Eve, I know. No, Wait, all what? my, 
They make it to oh, money at my grandma's. My room. little Hispanic cousin. They be like, "Oh yeah, Christmas today. I gotta go you know, my Christmas family." I be like, "All right, wait, really? I don't know yes, about. We bro. don't celebrate today. We just open. No, one open. Get they open one present like today or something. Oh, like uh, everybody do that. Nah, I don't. I ain't let Woo up on shit. Oh, uh, Miss Woo. <laughs> you ain't get Woo up nothing. <laughs> yeah, I got him show today. You got him today. <laughs> Wait, stores are open today? Whoop has everything, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's so has, different. Whoop don't need me. He don't he need me. everything, bro. <laughs> he literally has the mind of a 15-year-old. My son has. <laughs> Let me tell you, bro. I didn't get a pair of Balenciagas until I was 26, my nigga. My son has every pair. Yeah. Every pair I have, he have. I never owned. He has Yeezys, bro. <laughs> he has a PlayStation 5, a PS4, an iPad, an iPod Touch, an iPhone. 13. Damn, nigga, no, I, don't, I got a, a lab Mercedes. That is it. What the fuck is he supposed to get for Christmas? I'm supposed to get my laptop, nigga? What the fuck is he supposed to do? Like, business desk. That's no, what I'm that's saying. Close. Get him a job. A resume. How old is a walk? Five. All right, get him a job. <laughs> He too cute though. Woo up is adorable. <laughs> bo, for a five, bo, this he has to be the only five year old touching so much. That's not, bro, he we just left Mexico. So nigga, I didn't get on a plane, bro. Made a five year old making a, like a hundred thousand dollars. That's fucking crazy. I bro. haven't. That's he had got on a plane, bro. He went international. Aren't you proud? It's nothing to do no more. I don't know what else to do. It is not. Yeah. This nigga probably not gonna remember this. Yeah. That's what I be thinking about. He's not going to remember none of this. Like, like now he started probably like, okay, around five. I remember five, six. But, bro. I don't remember nothing. Shit, she was doing that three, them, them long paragraphs. That shit you send him. He's not going to remember none of that. None of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. So, when are you going to have kids? What age would you have kids? Like 27. Not with her. I know it's not going to be with her. So, I'm just asking you. It is. You shouldn't wait that long. 27? You shouldn't wait that long. I say, tw I say, yeah, I say 24. You said 26? I say, like, Close to the end 30 of my 20s. 30 for you, like 32? No, close 38, to the end of my like 20s. 40, end of 45? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking the same shit. 45. 67? Damn, nigga, she ain't probably gonna have kids. What age do you want kids? Bro, I, don't, I think I got a kid right now. Shit. I did see a little nigga running around. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yo, nah, 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 nah. It was a young Bro, nigga. On some yes. real talk, on some real talk, like, I think, um, I, have, <laughs> I think I'll, I'll have a kid around. <laughs> I really got to experience life. I want to experience life to the fullest. So, like, 27. Nigga, you just told me that. not to get no kid at 27. He just Nigga, you that. told me that. Okay, 20. Okay. 25. 25, bro. yeah. 25, you should have a long. After five years, bro, it's going to get boring, whatever. Yeah, you bro. Doing. Exactly. Because, like, I literally say earlier the better. So that, you'll be able to enjoy your own life. You can't you can enjoy. No, no, I'm not talking about y'all. But I'm just saying, period. I feel like you should have kids early. Yeah. I feel like kids early. Because it's like, um, it's really nothing to wait for. It's gonna, it's yeah. like, it's yeah, nothing right, to wait right. for. I'm not saying experiencing life though. Nah, you still can do it. Not while you have a baby. It's not. You got a family. My mom is in my house. Yeah. My mom is in my house in the room all the time with my little sister. Yeah, but you don't want to have to put that responsibility on someone all the time. That but that's because she wants to. She could drop the kid off to you. She, she could can't take... cause she's always feeding her. She could take the kid. Well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but she, she can bring the kid to other people. Mm. Bro, I say I'm no lie, bro. When my son was first born, I didn't see him as much as I do now. Mm. Because my mom was watching my sister. We had a large family. Right. We had ex not a large family, but my family was very supportive. Yeah, it matters when you have help from other people. And it's just like, you don't, you know, your and you have finances. first kid, you don't really have it 24 hours. You got to learn. You're still learning to be a father, a mother. You got to learn. I say, only thing I say because I feel like, it's cheaper. It's not. It's not. It's not expensive. It's, it's if you want it to be expensive. Right. Yeah. Three dollars. I got um. I got like one last question, and then you know we can end off. But I just want to see. You know, a lot of people. I wanted to clear. You can clear yourself in the air. A lot of people. I get a lot of things. As you know, a lot of things. Um, type of things. Uh, he gets stuff. You know, him and his brother making it in Brooklyn. I get stuff like. You know, I'm only doing videos good with my sister in it. When you hear stuff like Brooklyn made you and all this stuff like that, how do you deal with that and stuff like that with different questions like and comments like that? 
Because me personally, I know my sister. When people be like, oh, you only, you know what I'm saying? You and your sister, you know what I'm saying? Be able to go with your sister. I just, you know what I'm saying? I know my sister personally. I know my sister as a person. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know my creativity. I know I can pull views by myself. I know I'm funny as a person. So I learned, I feel like me doing at a young age and then uh, going through those comments, those toxic shit at a young age and still doing it, I kind of pushed through and I kind of learned to look past it. So I was asking you somebody that's new to this YouTube and new, you know what I'm saying? You came with her. Like, how do you feel? How do you handle? Handle shit like that as a man though like yeah. you know what i'm saying like having saying like oh this female brought you onto this and made you you know what i'm yeah. saying like how do you feel those type of comments uh well all that stuff i just be like man like i be i be so unbothered because i know like bro i don't be worried about people because i know how it's stuff in real life like, i know i know what it is in real life so that's why i don't trip with a lot of comments like a lot of comments be like i when i drop my ep with with the song that i put for her Mm-hmm. I promised Brooklyn I was going to put it on my EP. So at the end of the day, whether we together or not, I'm going to still put that song out there for me. I think that's my song. So I put that out there. And people was like, oh, you down bad or you sad. Like, you feel me? Because I dropped the song with her name yeah. when we did not together. So, But it was just on some shit like, bro, at the end of the day, me and Brooklyn been talked about it. You feel me? At the end of the day, it's like, I didn't, I like, with the YouTube shit, I didn't want to do YouTube. I wanted to just keep rapping and shit. But, you know, yeah. if that's if that's what's going to benefit my relationship as far as, like, you feel me? Whatever we had happen. I wanted him to start YouTube. Yeah, just so I wouldn't have to uh, go into that lane. Like, for me, because that lane could get dangerous, you feel me? So, um, on some shit like, I don't know how to really explain it, bro. Like, but. No, no I feel I, I'm not gonna, I, no, I feel you on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just being able to, you know, just, uh, just throw it all in the back of your head and just yeah. really know, know what the true is. Because I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not gonna lie, like, but I just goes for anything. When I first heard about you, like, I didn't really fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? I hear shit, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I just, anytime I heard Brooklyn just with a nigga, bro, I'm not going to cap. I just don't be yeah, caring. You know what I'm saying? I don't be caring to do videos with the nigga. I don't be caring to do whatever. I didn't care to do a video or whatever, none of that shit. But I just, I was mean you. I was like, damn, this nigga's cool as fuck. Like, there's everybody, my mom was just telling me, oh, he's a good guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think the first time on some real, like, really sounds like this nigga's actually funny was in New York. I think that was the time I was like, all right, this nigga. Like, mm, mm-hmm. That was you know kind of like the first yeah, time. Yeah, like y'all it was hung in New York. Out, when, yeah. when y'all popped out, and that was the first time I actually kind of met him. And I was like, mm-hmm. this nigga's like, look, you funny. He kind of reminded me of myself, just like, you know what I'm what, saying? What, what, when was that? But what happened, though? I'm oh. trying to think. I think it's probably like, I don't know. No, no it, it was then? just, it, yeah, I don't know when that was, but whenever we were in New York and I got to the, uh, the billboard and shit, because I remember we're in the room where it's oh, like, yeah. earrings. We start joking about the earrings yeah. and shit like that. So just shit like that. But nah, nah, I appreciate it. If it was a relationship, I pre- I'm glad it's this one. You know what I'm saying? And just even, bro, whatever happens, bro, if you guys don't last or last, bro, this shit is just part of the journey. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, just learn real. from it. Learn from everything. Don't let this be a waste of time in your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come out of this with something good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, Bro, this is we we never know how long we're here, bro. No, for Just real. Always progress, you know. Yeah. Make sure God's first, and you're gonna always go on the, the path that you need to go. You know, no, no for matter real. what, stay. No matter what, just stay with God, and you're gonna be good. You know. Yeah. One uh, one thing that just advice that I want to just give y'all. Um, OG Dub in the building. Let's end it out with OG Dub. It's literally just y'all too in this world. Like just look at it like that. That's how, yeah. That's like, how I be having to look at it, cause it be like at the end of the day, it's like, all right, we we and her, me and her not married. Like I can't think. Like people be like, some people be like, don't treat like you married, but it be like, my nigga, I'm planning to get married to her, so it's like I gotta treat it like that from the jump type okay. shit. Yeah, but it, you can't. You it, 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 if love don't have, you can't love someone out of boundary because you're not married. Yeah, for the, sure. Because yeah. then it's just gonna stop y'all growth as a couple. The marriage is for other people. The marriage is for the, you know what I'm saying? The love is already there. The marriage yeah. is just silly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just papers. The love somebody should already said, be there. Yeah, somebody said, um, sh- sh- somebody said, she don't, like, people have this, she don't come before nobody because y'all not married. Uh-huh. What does that mean? Right, like. <laughs> I ain't married to my mom, saying. nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't married to my motherfucking brother, though. Oh, oh, and I love them more than anybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's that. not. It, that's just, just a label on something. That's what I'm saying. So it's just like. That's what I said. At the end, it's, it's y'all world. And another another thing that I want to I want to say to you is, is that a lot of people come to me and they be like, "Oh, your brother made you. Your brother made that." Yeah. Okay, of, I mean, of course he did. He gave me the idea. He yeah. made me great. That's, he gave me that's that. That's what I be saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? He gave me the platform. At the end, they it's, all I needed was a platform. That's what I'm saying. Like it's he up gave to me to uphold that shit. He gave me the platform. And one thing that my brother taught me is just he taught me like, nigga, you're too funny to be. Putting posts on Facebook, nigga. Why are you on Face? This is what this nigga is telling, me. nigga. Why are you on Facebook, nigga? Get on Instagram, make some shit, do this, do that. But it, like, it'd be like he made you, nah. He 
molded me into the person that I am. Yeah, no. mm-hmm. It's a lot of people that mold. It's and what I'm just to say that um, to you is is that when them people come to you and make them comments like, "Oh, Brooklyn made you Brooklyn," or are "You soft for Brooklyn," tell them niggas like you told us on this podcast. <laughs> yes, I am sad, nigga. Yeah, I ain't talked to Brooklyn in two days, nigga. Yes, I am sad, nigga. Yeah, no, for sure. Yes, I am mad, nigga. Yes, like nigga, because I see the type of person you is. Keep that, and then you gonna motivate a lot of people to yeah. tell the truth because you just taught me some shit to treat like don't be ashamed to tell your woman like yeah i do i was sick nigga yeah oh you want i'm finna text another nigga bitch you don't want me to eat for two days yeah. for a week bitch <laughs> that you know what i'm saying and uh that's what i say like you know from you uh i feel like you should keep that going keep that mindset that you got yeah that keep it 100 with your woman and you'll be happy and then what y'all need to learn too just seeing because i just both i talked to i talked to him solo on the phone and I talked to you on the podcast and um y'all just gotta balance I think y'all should work on arguing. Be honest, hundred percent. As weird as that sounds, I think y'all need to work on arguing because y'all don't. Y'all don't get mad all the time and y'all don't know how to argue and then you say shit that you that because it's just it's just words though, but them shits hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think y'all should just work on that. Like the next time some not nah, I wouldn't do it now but nah. But what do you mean like we need to argue not argue, but y'all need to learn how to say like negative, sh- like not negative shit, just to learn how to balance out. Because if you don't, if everything is good, when it go bad, you don't know how to handle it. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean. Like when your car, when your just car speak is speak how you feel. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Speak how you feel. If you feel some type of no, hold really? it in. No, because you're gonna yeah. hold all that in, and we then you're used gonna to perceive it the wrong way once you project. Yeah, we used to um, argue a lot. You know, where in a relationship, but we used to argue a lot, and you know that kind of taught us. How to deal with things like you know, okay, don't react like this, and don't right. like you know, if you want me to do something, don't don't, don't say, it like, say it like aggressively because that's not that's gonna make me not want to do it, yeah, you know. Just yeah. or just sometimes, you know, I learned to just kind of like sit back and observe and not, you know, like I don't know how to explain, like not, not say nothing. Yeah, just not off that like he in public, we're in public with heck of friends and stuff, and he does something I don't like. I'm not gonna, like, write in there. But you're weird, bro. Like you did, you just yeah. did that. You know, I'm a play it cool in public. When we get in private, address him about it. You know, beat that ass. No. Exactly. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. As as a nigga too, you gotta learn how. Sometimes you gotta just take an L, bro. A lot of times I'll be like, man, I want to say this, but that's 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 some female type shit. Just say like, I take that shit to the chin. Mm-hmm. Another thing that I want to say is, never both of y'all. Mm-hmm. Never be like. Oh man, I don't want to do this because they think Brooklyn or just be, you know Jay blah blah blah. Nigga, do it. Mm-hmm. Fuck what other people think. Cause let me put it like this: like a nigga say to me, like, yeah, you gotta do what you need to do. And I like that you know he's willing to like you know you don't have to win every fight if you win a relationship. Oh, you only get these views if you got your brother or you only got your Deshay in it, yeah. right? Oh, well, all right, let me put the shade in my brother, in my shit. Right. Like, fuck, I don't give a fuck about the negative shit. Like, oh, that's okay, what tell me. Play, like, you know? that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, cool. Like, niggas would be like, oh, y'all only get, uh, like, this is, I'm just saying some shit. Like, y'all only get views on your podcast because y'all got guests or some shit like that. Okay, well. I'll bring more guests. I mean, how you have a podcast without guests for the most part? Like, if this is the format of they show, it's the interview people. They have to have guests. Gonna bring more guests, nigga. You can't say, live like you can't. Else. You you can't take the negative and feel like that's the answer. Yeah, exactly. Nibbling. And that's what I was saying. And I was like, and I, you guys, bro, like you guys, trolls. You know what I'm saying? Saying like that tone in Brooklyn. She was having a conversation. And she was telling me that she don't really like the comments and that stuff was getting to her. And I tell you, like that shit is fake. I promise you, so much love. Like you get so much love. And I'm promise you, after this podcast is posted, you're gonna get more love. You know what I'm saying? People definitely, can really definitely. see who you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like it's gonna be like this for the rest of like the time you do this career. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you want to do this or you want to give up and then be the person giving somebody else an opinion. Right. You want to be the person that they give an opinion, or you want to be in the comments? Yeah, because you can give up right now in a year. You can be the nigga giving the opinions to the person, but the between you is that person know how to handle it. And the thing hey, is- can we can we get some hand claps on that right there? <laughs> is it? <laughs> do you want to be the person that they giving their opinion on, or do you want to be the person that's giving them? Oh, which yeah. one you want to choose? I'll be, I'll be, oh, you go ahead. I'm just saying, Brooklyn. I think you're a star. I think you're a star. I think this is these tests. I think these are tests that to, to once you be able to learn this, then God's gonna throw something else. He'll throw yeah. another achievement. I feel like she already got it. 
You already got it. You already start. I already said, start. No, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's just in you. So it's just... Do you, do you know when you are a star? This is no disrespect. Uh-huh. When you can make a star. Mm. Uh, yeah. That's when you know. Exactly. Because that's all it is. You know when you become a star? Yeah, no, I get you. When you can, when you can, like help build. When some, you figure out the somebody, formula, you can just get some foundation. Exactly, like, you can build bro, somebody else's. Family, when I was like, doing YouTube, bro, I was like, this shit is so easy. I'm finna tell my whole family how to do this shit. I'm trying to <laughs> fucking tell people, I'm like, bro, Brooklyn, if you don't fucking make your own channel and just throw this, that be trying to asking fucking me for tell. money. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you just do this shit. Got her own channel, Brooklyn. Just do. It. I'm like, bro, as soon as you do anything, that's gonna pop. She's doing whatever. That shit just pops. She goes doing anything. My mom over there doing. I don't know what she's doing. Working, uh, coming home. She's over there working from nine a nine p.m. to nine a.m., making a thousand dollars a month, bro. I'm like, all right, here, try this. Now you're making your dad crazy month. You know what I'm no, saying? No, I remember when that first video that went crazy on the Shades page, the chicken thing. Bro, oh, yeah. that was supposed to be my video. Yeah. He told me. He said it took. Three, you were bro, telling him to edit it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. I'm like, I'm like, he edited this for me. He's like, yeah, I got you. Bo was like watching it. He said, "This is actually good." He posted it on his page. I post that bitch on my. <laughs> no. My shit was dead. Bro. Now that's that's like, going back to what you said. He do stuff, take the opportunity without thinking and hurting. Yeah. You know, just, but but look where it got that's us. That's what it made it. That's look look it where it got us. If I would have never po- be honest, I have no. You my know stuff would have been. You know I have more. It wouldn't have went. It Brooklyn, wouldn't have went think? good on my page. I know. That's not gonna probably like <laughs> two views. <laughs> And then you would have not wanted have done the next one or anything. I was saying, hey, we here, you know what I'm saying? We're doing it, but shit, you know? Hey, um it's crazy, bro. We're doing it, you know? I'm seventeen, bro. 17. I started we started like You was like I was, like I, I was 13? I, yeah, I was like seventeen. I was like seventeen years old when I damn, I started when y'all was your age. Everybody like literally watched us grow up. For real. I'm finna be twenty one in like two weeks. I'm finna be eighteen in seven months. That's far as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the like, dinosaurs. Be said. I don't care. That's like, oh, that's a big deal, Brooklyn. That's a huge deal. I remember that back then when I used to be like, "Oh, I'm about to be." <laughs> it's a big deal. We proud of you, girl. That's that's <laughs> less than two years, three years. But I'm so, proud of you guys, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you guys, yeah. Brooklyn. I'm proud of you. You know, I love it. Just growing with you and just being with you. You know, growing up with you. Glad to see you guys. You know what I'm saying? Just being with you, bro, and just seeing you guys form. Uh, just everything, bro. Um, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you guys can come on here. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank you guys for watching. You know, follow us on Instagram. Link is description. Everything. Uh, what else? All right. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Click the bell and become part of the Noto Squad.